Hey guys, we saw in the last two videos how to create groups and then how to read data from groups within HDF5 files. And in this video we're going to be looking at how to use compression, how to compress the data whilst we're saving it so we can save size. And the data we're going to use here is exactly the same, I'm sorry, the code here is exactly the same as the one in the last two videos when we uh, imported NumPy and H5Py. We created four matrices, uh, 1,000 by 1,000 matrices of random numbers, and then we are just here creating uh, a HDF5 file. I'm calling it HDF5 groups compressed.h5 on my desktop, and I'm creating, I'm creating the, sub, the exact subgroups we saw in the last two videos. Um, if I run that, it'll create uh, this file and save it on my desktop. And you notice here, for the create data set uh, uh, method, we have we give it a name or shape and then data and you notice in the documentation we can also specify compression so what is the compression algorithm or the compression uh, strategy and uh, for, for we have three values gzip szip or lzf um, and then we have the um, compression opts, which is the, just an integer for uh, gzip between 0 and 9, so the level of compression or uh, like, um, you know, how much compression between 0 and uh, and 9. So I have set these already here, as you can see, into the dataset function. I give it a name or a key, and then the value is my data, matrix 1, and then compression, I said gzip, and then compression uh, opts, which is the level between 0 and 9, I say 9. Likewise here, 9, 9, 9, and the same algorithm. So let's run the code and see what happens. Remember, these are random numbers. So compression, I don't I don't expect compression to be very good anyway. If this was text, then compression, we expect it to be really good. But let's have a look at the sizes. So the size of this compressed file is 29 megabytes. And the size that we of the file we created before, the same file without compression, is 31 megabytes or in fact we can compare the exact same one so we run it again and the size is 29 megabytes if we remove the compression quickly let me pause the video so we remove the compression if we run it again have a look at the size of the file it's 31 megabytes so like i said it's not expected to be uh, a big, uh, you know, uh, we're, not, we're not expected to save a lot using compression here because the data itself is number. So the nature of the data is the reason behind that. And then you can experiment with other uh, compression algorithms. Uh, the ones we saw, we have gzip, we have um, lzf, is it? Where is compression? Yeah, LZF and SZIP. Okay, so let's stop here. That's how you can com compress data. In the next video, we, sh we will start looking at how to do HDF5 uh, files using pandas, which is great and powerful. So let's stop here and see you next time.